Welcome to IC3D training video organizing IC3D. This video, the first in a series of training videos, will guide you through the various menus, options, viewing windows, and basic features of the product. Launching the application shows the file menu and toolbar. Each tool has a tool icon, the first being New Project, Opening a Project, and Saving, and a selection tool for 3D images, and Zoom and Pan tools for ease of movement. The transform functions are enabled when a 3D object is selected, so a user can move, scale, and rotate the 3D object to fit a window. Add label and edit label tool functions allow artwork manipulation with Adobe Illustrator. Adding an effect layer tool to create 3D special effects from spot colors and AI link and label creation tool links will be described in more detail later. A camera tool allows you to set the camera view and angles of the 3D object. Undo and redo functions allow you to control all the changes made to the 3D object. The 3D object view quality is set by default to preview. This setting can be changed in the drop down menu to improve viewing of fine text and graphics, and record functions for movie creation. The IC3D windows are organized by selecting from the Windows drop down menu. The Model Library window is shipped with a selection of industry standard packaging models. The icons can be set to small or large. The window can float or be docked at the bottom of the viewing window. The next preferential window selection should be the Material Library window, which, similar to the Model Library, comes shipped with a selection of packaging substrates, including metallic, paper, and glass materials with textures. There are also functions within this window to create your own special effects and textures. This window can also float or be docked, and you can toggle between the two windows. The template library is shipped with a selection of 3D packaging objects that have specific Illustrator document templates for artwork manipulation in Illustrator. The icons can be set large or small. And the window can also float or be docked with the model and material library windows for ease of use. The object editor is a key window to manipulate 3D objects in the 3D view. As a 3D model is added to the 3D view, the object editor will show the name of the model, the material being used, and the number of 3D meshes in the object. A label can be added to the 3D object from the object editor window and edit along with other functions to duplicate and delete objects and labels. The layers window is used to show label artwork layers and cutouts that have been manipulated in Illustrator. These layers can be moved up and down using the arrows in the top left-hand corner. Special effects can be added using the Add Effects Layer tool, and layers can also be deleted. The Lighting window can apply special lighting effects to the 3D object. This window, as with all windows, can be floated freely or docked for ease of use. The specific lighting environments can visualize brand colors and reflections in real time with IBL lighting as used in the film industry, including office or shop environments. You can toggle between the various lighting environments using the drop down menu. There are three lighting controls to create the desired lighting effects. 
new environments can be added using HDRI or High Dynamic Range Imaging JPEGs. The Transform window can manipulate the 3D object along with the Transform tools in the toolbar. When the 3D object is selected, the Transform tools become active. As each tool is selected, the Transform window reveals specific functions to allow you to move, scale, or rotate the 3D object to the desired effect. The Special Effects window works in conjunction with the Object Editor. Where the 3D object is selected or the material manipulated to create a transparent effect, Specific preferences should be configured before using IC3D, and these are selected in the Preferences window. The General Preferences tab allows you to configure default metric or imperial system units. The software can also be set to check for any updates, whether manually, on startup, or on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis. The 3D Option tab allows you to choose the texture quality of 3D objects for viewing fine art and graphics. This can also be changed in the toolbar as required. The file menu shows up to eight recent IC3D projects. You can also create a new or open a project, import 3D objects, save, and save as. The Edit tab allows you to undo, redo, and link to Illustrator. The View tab displays 3D objects at specific angles with the aid of shortcut keys. The Help tab also allows for licensing of the software and checking for updates manually. Selecting Help Licensing opens a licensing window, which displays the installation ID which must be entered to license the product. Enter your license in the field shown. Your computer must be connected to the Internet for your license to successfully activate. This completes the IC3D training video organizing IC3D